Hi, I'm Jen Har. And I'm Louie Casarella. We wanted to talk to you about why it's so important that you wear cut retardant chats with Steel's Avertic Pro Protection Fabric from Angtex when operating your chainsaw. Personal protective equipment is something that you and your family use every day. Whether it's a helmet when you're riding your bike or motorcycle, gear for your kids when they're playing sports, even the seat belts in your car. And it makes just as much sense and it's just as important to wear personal protective items when you're operating your power tools as well, like your gasoline power chainsaw. In particular, chaps are extremely important because they're designed to quickly stop the moving chain on your gasoline power chainsaw if it were to accidentally come in contact with your leg. Without chaps, that could be a very serious accident and at worst, even fatal. As you can see in this example, our MS-271 is cutting a hard piece of wood and you can see it cuts the wood very quickly. Just imagine how damaging it could be if that were your leg and the chain on the saw running at full speed accidentally came into contact with your leg. We'll show you how a pair of steel protective chaps with a Vertic Pro fibers can reduce the chances of you becoming seriously injured by a moving chain on your saw if it were to come into contact with your chap. We've wrapped our new pair of chaps on this log. With our MS-271 running at full speed, Louie is going to make contact with our chap. As you can see, the chain on the saw stopped almost instantly. The Vertic Pro fibers in the chaps, when exposed to the chain cutting through the outer layer, have clogged up the cutting system of the chainsaw and stopped the rotating chain. So, how did our lock fare in this demonstration? The chainsaw never broke through the inner layer of the chaps. Now it's important to understand that no one can guarantee that an injury will not occur or will be less severe because an operator wears chaps. The actual degree of protection afforded will vary with the speed of the chain, the time and angle of contact, power, and torque of the saw, and similar factors. In this case, the operator would have been better off but they are not intended to substitute good safety procedures. A couple of important points about your chaps. Your instructions that come with your chaps will give you instructions on washing and drying them. Chaps will perform their best when washed prior to their first use. And in the event that your chainsaw comes in contact with your chaps and cuts into the avertic fabric layer, the chaps should be replaced immediately as they have lost their protective effectiveness. But still, as you can see, a new pair is a small price to pay for your safety. So if you use a chainsaw, make sure that you wear your chaps and other personal protective equipment that is recommended in your instruction manual that came with your saw. Thanks for watching. And please, stay safe.